Hello, I'm Russ, N4RTD. Got a quick topic today. It is ham radio. You might not think it is, but it is, because the 90s have called, and they want you to have your pager back. So let's talk about what this pager has to do with amateur radio. A friend of mine recently asked me if I'd done any DAPnet messaging, and I said no. I knew it existed, but it seems to be getting a little bit more steam going forward. You'll see more APRS stations popping up on the APRS map with a P, and then you can see that they're a POXAG site. So let's cover real quick what DAPnet is and what it's all about, and then I'll have some more links in the description. So if you're really interested in DAPnet, you can find out more yourself and maybe you want to give it a try. DAPnet is the acronym for the Decentralized Amateur Paging Network. This is a paging network operating by radio amateurs and no commercial use is permitted. It uses the POXAG Post Office Code Standardization Advisory Group of pagers. And these pagers are the same types of pagers that many folks carried back in the 90s and are still in use today, albeit on a considerably lower scale due to smartphones and other messaging technologies and super POXAG. The POXAG paging protocol is carried by DAPnet on a one-way basis, and it was developed by German amateurs. It has roots back to 2008, but it grew its wings in 2016 with the hampager.de website. So how do your text messages get out to pagers or other devices? Well, the messages are received on the DAPnet network, and they're forwarded out to transmitters operated by hams and towers worldwide. It's distributed out even further through the use of hotspots such as Pi Stars or Open Spots. How is this ham radio? Well, these messages, once they're received, are transmitted over amateur radio by the transmitters and hotspots on 439.9875 MHz in the United States. Frequencies vary in other countries. So if you have a hotspot, did you ever wonder why this setting was available in your Pi Star? You know, the one that's in the configuration settings that says POXAG, or an open spot or any other radio amateur hotspot that supports POXAG. Well, that's what this is for. It supports the DAPnet network. So one quick question you might ask is, how is DAPnet transmitting these messages when I'm using my hotspot? Well, it doesn't. When you're done transmitting on your hotspot, whatever frequency you chose to operate it on, DAPnet will then send messages that were queued up while you were using the hotspot and then transmit them on 439.9875 MHz. And you don't necessarily have to have a pager if you want to participate in the DAPnet network. You can use an open spot, which actually has a correspondence window where you can send messages and receive messages directly to and from the DAPnet network. And using your hotspot, you can even monitor the DAPnet network traffic as it's going across. So you'll see other traffic from other radio amateurs, as well as the rubrics, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So how can you send messages on the DAPnet network? Well, the easiest way is using the DAPnet app, which is available for the Android or the iOS operating systems on your phone or tablet. You can also use the PiStar SSH command line, as well as using DMR messaging, APRS using AD, APT DAP, and there'll be links for that in the show notes, as well as JSA call because it will allow you to send messages over the APRS network and therefore also go out to DAPnet. A moment ago, I talked about rubrics. And the reason is, is that it's not just messaging back and forth on DAPnet. You can also subscribe to rubrics, which are kind of the newsletters of DAPnet. They're like subscribing to RSS feeds where you'll get things like news, weather, alerts, and DX cluster reports, just to name a few. So the question is, do you need an account to send or receive DAPnet messages? Yes, you'll need to register at https colon slash slash hampager.de for an account. If you're just looking to send and receive messages, you only need to submit a single support ticket for an account. But if you want to run a transmitter, let's say from your hotspot, you'll need to submit a separate ticket after the first one to register your transmitter. So if you wanted to find a POXAG pager, where would you find one? Well, one place you'll find them is on eBay. I'm also seeing them crop up at ham fests and radio swaps. So keep an eye out for them. So besides being able to send and receive messages on a pager 
warn a messaging on an open spot, what else should you know about DAPnet? Well, although once a message is on the network, if the pager is on and in range, or your open spot is on, you should re reliably receive your message. However, although sending messages via the DAPnet app or the PyStar command line is very reliable, some of the other methods like DMR or APRS have been sporadic. So that's a real fast overview of what DAPnet is all about. If you're interested in DAPnet, I put some links in the description below so that you can find out more about it. Thanks for watching and get out there and enjoy ham radio.